All right, we're back on this story. I did a video on it yesterday. Amazon is not going to have its second headquarters in New York City because they got too much pushback. And I got to say, this morning, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was tweeting like crazy about this. I kind of think she's doing some damage control because she pushed back on Amazon and she has no idea. I'm going to say it. She has no idea what the fuck she is talking about. My fucking God, she's got me swearing. This this really, really freaks me out. And you know what? I, I did apologize in a video about a week or two ago where I said, when I made a half an hour long video where I was like, I'm happy she won. I'm happy she, I'm happy she beat Crowley because I do not like these establishment crony Democrats. I agree with a lot of her platform, but holy fucking shit. She has no idea what the fuck she is talking about. Okay, and I and I and I and and forgive me for swearing so much because I know sometimes people don't like it, and I typically don't. First, we have the story from the AP. Okay, and we're gonna read over. We're gonna over that. We're gonna read through the story, but I've got to do this first. Alan Smith, a political reporter for NBC News, tweeted: "Cortez responding to criticism that by Amazon pulling out of HQ2 in Queens, 25,000 jobs were lost. We were subsidizing those jobs. No." says if State City was willing to give away $3 billion for this deal, investments can be made in hiring teachers and fixing the subway. Holy, oh my God. She thinks a tax break is money. It's not. She thought an accounting error was money. Seriously, this freaks me out. This is serious damage to New York. And she's been on Twitter storm a Twitter storm about this. Now, of course, one, um, a lot of the news right now is the is the national emergency, but let me scroll down and see if I can find her because she tweeted like, I don't know, 10 or 15 times about, you know, defending herself. Oh, did she delete the tweets? So she's got a bunch. Yeah, it looks like she may have deleted some of these tweets. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't have them pulled up or maybe it's in the replies. Okay. This is one of her, her uh, damage controls. Let me pull up the original tweet here. So this is from Anthony Atamanuik. He says, I'm also amazed that this Amazon pullout is now being placed on AOC on MSNBC. Somehow this one person, not the governor or mayor, mayor, not the terrible Amazon deal. Apparently it's all the fault of a freshman congressperson. She responded, I'm laughing at this. Amazon was not coming to my congressional district and no concentrated outreach to us that I'm aware of yet. With no effort, I defeated the richest man in the world. Doesn't add up. Story that's not being told. The local community organized to reject it. The deal wasn't a simple tax break. It was $3 billion. When the community wanted to negotiate, Amazon said all or nothing. They bailed when they didn't get 100% of what they wanted. Google came into NYC just fine. This seems to me like damage control. She says, you know, she's she's saying it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. But what did she tweet the other day? Let me let me see if we can pull this up quickly. First of all, She's ragging on Amazon for paying no taxes, which is an issue. Like, Amazon should definitely be paying taxes, but I understand it's a complicated issue. She's got a bunch of retweets on this. She retweeted this guy that that I read, Alan Smith. But this is what she tweeted um, just the other day. Anything is possible. Today was the day a group of dedicated everyday New Yorkers and their neighbors defeated Amazon's corporate greed, its worker exploitation, and the power of the richest man in the world. Seema Modi says, I think you need to figure out how to uphold standards, fight for small businesses while not discouraging large companies from seeing NYC as a good destination. She said, plenty of companies moved to NYC without needing an unprecedented $3 billion tax giveaway. (sighs) This is not a tax giveaway. She's being, um, she's misleading. She actually thinks, she said, investments can be made in hiring teachers and fixing the subway. Oh my God. Let me explain this. I think most of you watching this understand how this works. If Amazon comes into New York City and they're offered a $3 billion tax abatement, that means if Amazon generates $10 billion in tax revenue, they only pay $7 billion. So yes, the city would not get that $3 billion. They would get seven. Now they get nothing. New York desperately needs money to fix the subways. Cortez, holy shit, man. She actually thinks, 
She said when they when they announced there was twenty one trillion dollars, I think it was twenty one trillion. Is it trillion in an, an accounting error, meaning someone could just put the wrong number on a sheet of paper. That's an error. She said the money could be used to fund universal health care or something to that effect. No, accounting errors are not money. Tax breaks are not money. These people don't understand how economics works. Let me give you another. I, I, I've said this a, a bunch of times, but a simple, simple explanation of, of taxes. Did you realize, did you know if you lower taxes, okay, you may actually increase tax revenue? People don't seem to get this. Kamala Harris said tax refunds are down. This means people are paying more in taxes. No, it means that the withholding was less because taxes are down. They really don't get this. Let's read the story. This stuff's freaking me out, man. What is happening to the Democrats? Wow, from the AP. Captivated by a handful of liberal superstars, they are venturing where the party has long feared to tread. Steep taxes on the rich, abolishing an immigration enforcement agency, proposing economic transformation to combat climate change, gleefully waving goodbye to a big business and its jobs. On Thursday, newly elected Rep. Ocasio-Cortez led a chorus of cheers as Amazon announced it was abandoning plans to build a sought-after headquarters in New York City. Activists berated the online giant for a $3 billion package of tax breaks. She said the city could better invest in hiring teachers or fixing the subway, but a tax break isn't money. It's a discount. Oh my God. If Amazon generated $50 billion in taxable revenue, they just have to... This is not the Democratic Party of yesteryear or even last year. The Amazon New York fight is an illustration of how power is moving to the left, said Ben Wickler of the liberal group Move On. One of the world's most powerful organizations doesn't want to pick a fight with progressive activists. As the liberal flank celebrates its sudden ascendance, ascendance in the party, energized by the new House freshmen pushing the party toward bold policy solutions, others wonder if the Democrats are veering so far left, they're about to fall off a cliff. Matt Bennett, vice president of Third Way, a center-left think tank, said the leftward drift could be trouble if Democrats aren't offering a vision of the country that speaks to ordinary voters ahead of the 2020 presidential election. Bashing Amazon will get you cheers and precincts in the left and online, but that seems bananas to most people who think it would be good to work at a job that pays well. The risk is that eventual nominee goes too far during the primary process and becomes hard to support for a lot of people who might be interested in getting rid of Donald Trump. Cortez and the other progressives aren't, they're voting no on government funding. If you're mad at Trump because he vetoed the government spending bill when Democrats and Republicans come together, listen, there is a faction of Democrats who are voting no on government funding, which will result in a government shutdown because they want to abolish ICE. What? This is crazy. It's a valid debate ahead of a presidential primary season with an unusually robust roster of contenders trying to wrest the White House from Trump. The race comes at a time of shifting party loyalties and eroding confidence in traditional corridors of power, a dynamic that has recast the policy prescriptions of both parties. The big question for 2020, will Democrats move beyond the center-left policies that have dominated the party since Bill Clinton's presidency? And if so, will they find the electorate is repelled, as Republicans claim, or will they discover that a country long described as center-right is receptive to a return to liberalism? I'll tell you this, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Gillibrand, these 2020 candidates, they're on Twitter. They're looking at extra, vocally. Listen, there was a study that found most people willing to post stories are either far left or conservative. Moderates aren't active. Somebody once tweeted to me, Tim, all of the responses to your tweets are, are conservatives. Liberals don't follow you. Omitting the fact that most of the followers I got came during like Occupy Wall Street in Ferguson. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of liberals chimed in saying, no, we, we just don't tweet that often. We don't tweet. We just follow. All of a sudden, all the liberals came out of the woodwork. Liberals, moderates, they're not tweeting. What happens? The politicians go on Twitter. They, there, there's this, um, it's, 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 I don't know if it's a logical fallacy, but this phenomenon where people will see like 10 tweets in quick succession and assume everyone feels this way. Like you go to your notifications, you see the tweets, you scroll through and everyone's saying, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And they go, wow, everyone feels this way because 10 people said it. It's not real. These, these, these presidential candidates are adopting a policy that most of the Democrats don't want. Pew and Gallup both show 54% of the Democratic Party wants more moderate policy. You are going after the minority. You will not have a coalition to defeat the Republicans. I could be wrong. I don't think I'm the smartest person in the world. I'm not the best at making predictions. But when I see this, 
when I see what they're doing, what, 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 listen, most of the people I had, I had this pulled up, I, I closed it, but it was something like 54% of New York wanted Amazon headquarters. It was tax revenue. That money could have gone to fixing the subways. It was 25,000 good paying jobs with an average of $150,000 per year. A lot of people pointed out they were relocating people to New York. Doesn't matter. It's not about giving jobs to New Yorkers, which would be better. It's not about the fact that the deal was bad. It could have been better. It's about the fact that any jobs, any property, all of that would generate tax revenue for the city, which they need to fix their crumbling infrastructure. You oppose that. You're, and you think the tax break is money? It's not. I think that I'm, 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 it, it, you know, I don't know who I would vote for. I'm not a fan of most, most, Democ- most uh, politicians, period. And I rarely, if ever, vote as it were. But if I was going to vote, it's going to be someone who's more of a centrist. Um, I've been hearing some good things about Amy Klobuchar, but I don't think she has the name recognition to win. But the people who do, the, 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 the politicians who have the name recognition are just pushing far left insanity. I, you know, forgive me for swearing. I, 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 I was pretty, pretty hard on the swearing in the beginning. But I got to say, when Cortez said, give away $3 billion, my God, she really doesn't know basic economics. And when I pointed this out, some people said to me, they, they were like criticizing me saying, LOL, you know, you know, calling me conservative because she has a degree in economics. And I'm like, dude, I don't care what her piece of paper says. I don't care. I care that she said we could make investments into hiring teachers. No, 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 no. You don't understand. The city needed tax money from Amazon. They don't have this money. They weren't giving the money away. They were hoping to generate tax revenue from them coming in, and then they could invest in teachers. They fundamentally do not understand basic economics. Although I sound angry, trust me when I say after I'm done, I go and I put on something like, you know, Ghost Adventures, and this is, this is my therapy almost, right? You, it, it might seem like I'm often angry when seeing these crazy stories, but the reality is this is just me venting. And it's, it's 10 minutes. It's one video. And, I'm, and I'm, it's fine. Um, ultimately, I, I, don't th- I think AOC might, might actually lose. I think she might get uh, outed in 2020 because of her, her incessant, like, she just doesn't know what she's doing, man. She, she really doesn't. She's saying too many insane things. And I think this was bad for her. Really bad. Really, really bad. People are going to be pissed. Anyway. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow on this channel at 10 a.m. And uh, don't forget, if you made it this far, Subverse. We've got a bunch of videos coming up. We're, we're really ramping things up. It's going to be much more professional. And we just did a video with Dr. Deb Rousseau that I'm shocked. It's got 30,000 views. And this channel, it's a new channel. It's got like 16,000 subs. So this is fantastic. Really appreciate all of the support from everybody. Uh, check it out. YouTube.com slash Subverse videos. I'll see you all tomorrow.